Never seen a sword like it. For better or for worse, we're in. Huh? The finger! Expelliarmus! The finger! All of us. Mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. See any goblins in these webs? Too disgusting for even a spider to prey on. Too many. They definitely think there's something here they want. Confring them! That ledge is awfully high. Any ideas? Rebellion. There must be something around here that can help. Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa! It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar size, or the venomous fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. Ah! Ah! 
smashing. Should have thought to conjure stairs. <clears throat> Repairer. We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Ramrock's loyalists have all but declared war. Lumos. 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 Bombarda. We've still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome distraction at that.
We have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? You ought to cut back on pudding. Defender! Not quiet enough. Defender! You're weak, human. Cleared the room. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. Ah, there's that Hufflepuff loyalty you're so well known for. We should clear out these spider webs. Oh, they always seem to be in the way. Confringo! Wasn't expecting that. There. A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will help us unravel more of this mystery. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels odd. Revelio! Triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas. We can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. But if she was using the Undercroft, and the cellar beneath her manor in Feldcroft, why would she create this space? And why hide it behind cryptic rune symbols? And ancient magic that no one but you could see? Isadora and Percival Rackham, another of the Keepers, could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. Here's are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. 
This is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. This place is odd, to be sure, but I'm fascinated by it. Now, for the trek back out of here and to Hogwarts. Unless we can find another passageway to the Undercroft. Let's have a look around. And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. And the bad news? We're in for more trouble. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mara and Weem has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? Someone who knows Ranrock personally. They asked me not to mention their name to anyone. A goblin? Tell me I'm wrong. You know goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins Not are... all goblins what? Have you forgotten, Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. Did you speak with my uncle? I wish I had better news about your uncle and Anne. Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I appreciate you setting our earlier discussion aside for now. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft. Nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. If he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, he's sorely mistaken. He also said he cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form, and that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne, to reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know that we need to meet. I'm afraid I don't follow. Nothing, just a thought. Now I'm more determined than ever to learn what power that relic has. What did you mean you'd send Anna Crest so that she'd know to meet you? It's... we just lost our parents and we were packing up to go and live with Solomon. We couldn't take everything. She was carefully organizing her prized possessions, a box of artifacts she'd collected to do with our family. Jewelry, cards, old photographs. She got to her favorite. The second thought she handed it to me. This will keep you safe, she said. It holds no enchantment, but I've kept it with me since. That's how I can reach Anne. I'll get the crest to her with plans to meet. Be careful, Sebastian. Your uncle could intercept it. We'll be expelled. Even if Ominous is upset with us, he has no love lost for his family. He'd use their connections to the headmaster if we needed his help. I shall wait to hear from you then. Thank you. I very much appreciate you standing by me through all of this. I'll send you an owl when I have news.
It's to tell me my child has broken school rules again. I'd like to learn that you must leave in good grace. But no! What did I ever do to deserve this? <laughs> you are ungrateful, ungraceful, and frankly, unacademic. I am ashamed.
Revelio. I still can't believe that girl wrote her essay on shrinking solutions and thought it would be better to print it before handing it in. Hello there. Hello, I'll meet. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, might this be dangerous? I think he simply wants to show me something that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. You said you know gobbledygook, but how well? I've been reading it for as long as I've been reading English. My parents have an extensive library. Once I grew bored with the classics, I devoured goblin writings. I'd tell you some titles, but you wouldn't understand them. Have you ever spoken directly to a goblin? Unbelievably, no. I'm so looking forward to it. Actually conversing in gobbledygook with a native speaker. Cannot wait to confirm subtle bits of pronunciation and tone that may have eluded me. Being self-taught and all. Uh, Lord Gok is waiting. Should we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. So I will meet you there. Revelio. Accio. 